Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 16 of Darwell20's Omni Factory series. Today, I've just updated the quest pack. Woohoo, good times. Uh, and we've we've got new things. Oh, look at all these Omni pennies we've got. Ha ha ha. So the whole uh, dynamic of coins has changed in the version of the mod pack that we just updated to, which is version 1.1. Um, instead of um instead of uh using the quest book to have a coin shop you can now use the coins to craft things uh think of them like you matter i mean they're pink and they look like you matter recipes don't they look at that how cool is that so a lot of the ores that you were able to craft before can now be simply you know made via crafting rather than doing quest hand-ins which is pretty cool and then you can upgrade your omni pennies into Omni Nickels. Neat. And then Omni Nickels can be used to get, you know, better stuff. Like, like there's a bunch of recipes there, right? Uh, which is pretty cool. And then, uh, as you might not be surprised to find out, there's Omni Quarters, uh, which gets you even more fancy of things. Oh, you can make spawn eggs? That's cool. And then Omni Dollars, which look like they just convert back down to Omni Quarters, so they don't have any recipes right now. Um, the other thing that's new in this pack, there's, there was a handful of changes, so I'm not going to like read read the change log or anything, um, but, but definitely a few tweaks and changes to the way the pack works and some changes to other things. A lot of the changes were later game stuff, so it won't affect us, uh, but there's also this new bounty system, which I wanted to check out. Uh, so you need to make a bounty board for this to work, and then a Apparently, I'm just going to pop that in the world. Oh, hello. That's cool. Wow, look at all this stuff. Uh, that's that's some things. Time to complete. That time is counting down. So I need a lot of things. Holy cow. Alloy widgets? I don't even know what a widget is. I haven't encountered widgets yet. Stone widget, wooden widget. Cool. Widgets, huh? What are they used for? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Required and rewards. Okay. Wow. 25 Omnicorders. If I make three primitive processors, three LV emitters, and 23 wooden widgets. Do I take this? Just trying to figure out how this thing works, right? So I've got three primitive processors. Ah. Okay, cool. Three emitters. LV. They don't look too bad, but also not terribly easy. What's brass? I don't know that I've made brass yet. Cutting saw, extruder, uh, brass ingots. Is there an alloy smeltery recipe? Copper and zinc. Yeah, I don't think I've done zinc yet. I don't think I have any zinc. I think I've got, ooh, we've got quartzite. Yeah, no zinc. Interesting. That's interesting. I like that. And then 23 wooden widgets. So that might be doable, but that like earns me coins. So that's kind of neat. So you can craft things to earn coins that you can use to buy resources. Pretty sure we have zinc. Don't we have zinc? One of these, one of these things turns into zinc, and I don't know what it is. That's iron. Olivine? No, it doesn't make any sense. Redstone, bauxite, aluminum. I am really bad about knowing what this stuff is. Graphite, Galena. Galena's not zinc, is it now? I, 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 I knew we have something that turns into zinc. I'm just curious at this point. I don't think I have time to actually craft it. Sphalerite and zinc ore. Those seem to be the main things. I could have sworn I had something that gave me zinc. I really, really could have sworn. But, oh well, I'm not going to worry too much about it right now. That's an interesting mechanic for sure. So what happens at the end of this time frame, right? That's, that's the question. That is the question. So seven electric motors and two electric pistons. wonder if I have any of those handy. Oh, uh, you know, two electric pistons? I might be able to make another one of these. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, but yeah, that's interesting. That is cool. Three LV sensors. Quartz. 
Quartzite, more brass rod stuff. Yeah, I don't have any brass, really. Interesting, though. I'm... So some of them already cycled, maybe. Oh, a rare bounty. Requires 10 electric motors, and you get 12 Omninickels. Well, that's cool. Three Ender Widget, 11 vacuum tubes. So that's neat. I don't know. I think that's a cool mechanic. You can basically... If you don't feel like going out and mining, you can craft these things and earn money to buy rewards. That's cool. Um, now, I thought there was uh, something, something. I don't know. I made a bunch of uh, primitive circuits between episodes, as you can see, um, which, is, which has gone pretty well. No complaints there. Um, let's get... That should be cool. Nice. Red alloy wire is kind of a sticking point for me, which is why I'm making more. Uh, so yeah, we updated the pack. You can see I've got a bunch of stuff listed on my to-do up here because I was starting to look at like, hey, what do we need to get? By the way, if you update the pack, don't forget to do the reload the quest book quest because that'll update your quest book for you, which is something you totally need to do. Um, you know, 100% recommended. So leadstone jetpack and hardened jetpack. That's cool. One other, didn't I see another chip back? Oh, you know what? I think that changed that recipe, or that quest. Yeah, the quest is a little different now. All right. So yeah, today's episode, good question. More blast furnaces, you say. Um, yeah. That's cool. Oh, you want me to make more blast furnaces eventually. That's neat. Okay. We should look into farming. Because I, I, I feel like once you when you do these big quests, that's kind of like, here's an important quest for this chapter. That's probably going to be for power gen. And we're not hurting too bad for power gen right now. So I don't know. See, here's the other jetpack, right? So you've got the Iron Man quest. That gets you a conductive iron jetpack. And then you have the leadstone jetpack. Okay, cool. Just out of conductive iron jetpack. Does that need the iron one? Or is that just a different... Yeah. So, so simply jetpacks as I recall, basically had one for Ender I.O. resources, but then also a set for um, thermal resources, right? So that's cool. All right, let me get ready for what I wanted to do this episode. I, I kind of wanted to explore the job board with you guys and see what that was all about um, and, and kind of go from there. So that's why we started the episode the way we did. Um, I'm just making a bunch of circuits because, like I said, it, it feels like you can never have too many of those. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I may need more sand at some point, but we'll see. For now, let me come back in a second and uh, see what's next. So I know a cluster mill, that's something we need to work on. Um, yeah, we'll be right back. All right, so one of the quests that I needed to do was a basic cluster mill. Um, and I, I guess I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing over here. which is expanding this dude outwards. So that's cool. I feel like, oh, hello. Oh, neat. That mod's in here. Good to know. Not sure if I like that or not. We'll have to see. Basic cluster mill. So that was a quest. I was curious to see if that unlocked further quests. Omni pennies. Capacitors, right? Distinctly different from Ender IO's RF capacitors. These are only used for circuit components. All right, cool. So a capacitor which is this dude we're going to want to add here. This can be made an assembler with a polythylene sheet and aluminum foil. Okay, cool. And aluminum foil is just aluminum plate. Nice, that cluster mill actually makes things a lot, a lot cooler. Okay, so this is apparently a path to making uh, capacitors or uh, circuits easier. So that's interesting. So polythylene is something we also need for patterns, which I really want to get into auto crafting in this pack with, because that would make my life a heck of a lot easier. So let's jump into the farming quest, because I suspect that polythylene might come after farming. So I need a lot of sugar cane, not a problem, uh, and a lot of canola oil, which uh, will be more of a problem, but still not, right? Um, yay, I love, I love that I have like 2048 sugar cane right now. How cool is that? Uh, also, by the way, totally is a fuel, so can totally go into a steam dynamo. Hashtag just saying. Just saying, that's a thing. All right, so now I need canola. Do we even have canola yet? We have sugarcane seeds. We don't have any canola at all? I'm going to have to go find canola seeds, uh, which, which 
is something I'm gonna have to figure out where to get them because I haven't gotten them yet and that makes me suspicious. Uh, hey, we can buy them with Omnipennies. So guess what we're doing? Phytogenic Insulator we're probably a little ways away from, but Canola Seeds with, 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 with Pennies. That's cool. Uh, these are probably not shapeless, so I probably need to put them in the exact right place. Hmm. Hmm. That's all right. We can find them out in the world, out and about. I'll take it. Oh, and apparently you can work, if you use a work table, you can deal with that? That's, oh, uh, you know what? That does make sense. That does make sense. Hold on. Uh, I just mentioned it to the mod uh, pack maker, and let's see. So if I did this, oh, look at that. That is cool. Neat. That is super cool. I like that. That is spiffy. All right, uh, good to know, good to know for sure. But hey, guess who has canola seeds now? So we need to like grow these, right? Uh, have we found appetite yet? So I know there's appetite ore, which we can make, and that will what, smelt into appetite? Can I use that to make fertilizer? I totally can. So like, let's get some appetite ore, courtesy of our pennies. Uh, we need five of them. Sweet. And then we can cook it. And then we can get a bunch of fertilizer to make this life go a little bit easier for me. See, that's a lot of appetite, which I will totally take. Sweet. How much did we get per smelt? Five of them? That is cool. That is a lot. That is super cool. All right. And then fertilizer should be makeable with more appetite. And that should actually last us a really long time. So then what I'm going to do is go plant our canola seeds so that we can get into the canola lifestyle. So I don't think I need this stuff anymore, right? We don't need that snad chilling there because we've got, that was for sugarcane and we're pretty good. We're pretty good on sugarcane. You can tell I've been playing Skyblocks a lot because for a moment my, my brain went to, I wonder how much dirt I have and I wonder how to make it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, <laughs> that's not actually a concern. We're not playing a Skyblock. <laughs> but you can tell I've been playing a lot of Skyblocks lately because that's where my brain went, right? Um, that's 100% where my brain went. So. so let's give you a nice three by three here. And sure, I've got a watering can, but this is gonna be faster than a watering can to get a stack of appetite, right? By far. By far faster than a watering can. All right, quest complete. Claim your rewards. Omni Nichols, by the way. That was a big quest. Apparently, that's going to unlock some things for us. Uh, where it unlocks things is a super good question. Um, but let's find out. Where, what, what did you unlock by doing that? So the other major quest that I've thus far skipped, uh, and it's probably the reason for this, is Pyroclase Ovens. I haven't, I haven't made this one yet. Pyrolice? Pyroclase? I don't know. We, yeah, Pyrolice. I don't know why I'm throwing an extra C in there. Uh, but guess who has some crafting to do? Uh, his name is yours truly. So we'll be right back as I come up with a list of things that I need to make. Be right back. So because I'm doing so much compressing lately, I decided my next machine should be an advanced compressor. Let's see how good this thing is. Um, it definitely seems faster, just not that much faster. Not as much as I was hoping. He's good, but is he great? He's faster. See, like, each step is going up by, like, what, 7%? And each step over here is going up by 14%. So I guess he's twice as fast. It just doesn't seem that fast. But he's definitely twice as fast. So twice as fast is good. Twice as fast is something I can work with. 
So you can see my laundry list of items up there. Yeah, I've got a lot of things I gotta make. A lot of things I gotta make. I'm cooking it all up. Are you cool? What do you got in here? All right, cool. More of these, please. Back to crafting work, because I want to make a pyroclase oven, because I think that's what we need to proceed. All right, if I'm not mistaken, that's all the things? Sweet, quest complete. So I guess I did it right. Uh, I'll take that. I'll take that as a, I did it right. Sure, why not? Now, I'm assuming this is going to need some form of power. Uh, now, he also has an input hatch for LV. So I guess we'll figure out what his needs are, right? So let's get to building. So I'm thinking we want to extend this over here, right? So we're probably going to want some more 4x conductive cable for the LV. And remember, these guys have a loss of zero, so that's kind of good for us, right? So how about we just plop this dude next to it, right? Uh, so the pyroclase oven is built. So there should be a 3x3 three three in the front of ULV machine casings and possible input and output buses. And then a 3x3 three three layer going deep times 2. So it's actually, no wait, 3x2. Three yeah, 3x3 three three times 2. Right? Up three, left three, back two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think I got it. So what we're going to basically want is to remove this dude. I should get some feral flare lanterns going on is what I should really be doing. But is this what a pyroclase oven should look like? Right? Now, um... In addition, you want input bus here, input hatch here. Input bus, input fluid input hatch. And I don't think it super matters. I think this can be really whatever you want. Fluid input hatch goes on the left. Input bus will go on the right. Until I figure out exactly what we need to do. I thought we were cool over here, buddy. Wow, look at that. One little spot. That was dark. One little spot. In there is fine because it's protected by the old... Uh, the old, the old mega torch thingy, right? So this was gonna be input bus, and this was gonna be fluid input bus, right? And then uh, this actually might go. So it's two Cooper nickel blocks. So those are all Cooper nickel blocks in the middle. Why do I feel like I don't have enough of those then? Oh no, two empty in the middle. Okay, and then two full. That explains why it's eight. Okay. Cool. Come on, come back. Right? And then the the casings will be if we rotate this guy around, we can put output bus, energy hatch, output hatch. Fluid output hatch, right? Um so Output bus, energy, and that should be cool, right? I think that should be cool. And now, can you just be anywhere, energy? Like, this This says valid structure, right? I assume, yes. You protect L voltage 64. Okay, cool. So, can I put this instead here? Why, yes, yes I can. So that's groovy, right? So we may or may not have enough uh, conductive cables right now, but I think we're probably short one, if I had to guess. Uh, short two forex conductive cables. So let me take care of that real quick. Okay, so here we go more of four x conductive cables so that should get the pyroclase oven going right and i think we can just cover up the flooring a little bit to make it less of a mess and that's not terrible so i i guess i want to access it from this side just like i do this one right so does that get me that got me a quest complete right so what did that unlock for me maybe more stuff over here in early game 
Uh, yeah, I think that unlocked the chemical reactor and phenol coated substrates and MV lossless cables. Sweet. I think that's what this unlocked, right? This wasn't here before, was it? Did we make a basic chemical reactor? Why, yes, we did, basic chemical reactor. Come here, you. Haha, <laughs> quest complete. Ah, that is cool. All right, so with that taken care of, requires MV lossless cables, 16X energetic alloy cables. Oh, you want the big ones. You want the big ones. I know you want the big ones. I know you want the big ones. Ah, uh, that's fair. LV assembling machine we already took care of, right? Capacitors needs that, fluid stuff. Phenol coated substrate, the second tier one circuits. That's what we're working towards for sure, right? Phenol is produced as a byproduct from making coal coke in the pyroclase oven. Nice. So if we wanted coke, right? Coal coke, I presume, is a thing that we can make. Flawed coal coke? Flawless coal coke. Well, that doesn't have a recipe, nor does that. What's a block of coal coke look like? There's coal coke. Pyroclase oven. It's coal and steam. And a programmed circuit of configuration one. Okay. So coal. And a circuit. Which I think we can make like this. With configuration one. So then we just have to figure out. Okay that is not. Okay that's fluid input. Would that be these guys? Coal coke. Coal coke. There you are. Yeah, pyroclase oven. I assume the program circuit, not consumed in the process, goes in the input slot. Now we just have to figure out how to make steam. So the fluid heater can make steam with a program circuit and water. Wow, six millibuckets makes almost a bucket of steam. Let's check out a fluid heater, shall we? So steam which is apparently a fluid, right? Because we don't have a mechanism here, so we don't, I don't think we have a mechanism here, so we don't have... Right, fluid heater. Uh, it needs 32 EU a tick, so the basic level fluid heater should work. So let's see how much do we need to make. So we need a couple 4X copper cables, which aren't bad. Right? Um, and then all we really need on top of that is a couple electric pumps, which uh, I know that I made some more of this. Let's get some tin. I'm going to just like hammer out some plates for a minute and also throw a little bit into the lathe here so we can be ready for what we need to do. Right, because for pumps, we need screws, which is bolts. Which is sawed, right, rods. Okay. Cool, you get the idea. Just get a few of these, because I know that'll make life easier. And I think the bolts can go through this guy as well. Come on, bro, you're a little slow. But you're fast. <laughs> I like when things are fast. Cool. Um, and then what we also needed was... Not you. Uh, you. Hammer it out into some rings. Cool. Now, here's the trick with these guys, right? So, like, we need file. We need hammer, file, and screwdriver. I'm going to show you guys how I do this. If I search for wrought iron, hammer, file, and screwdriver are all there, right? So, there's the two fans that we need for that guy. And then for the electric pump... Uh, we're basically just making, um, do we have more bronze pipes? We don't. We should probably make more bronze. Uh, how about 8 and 24 for bronze? Does that sound like a good number? That sounds cool to me. Because I know I'm going to need another one of these in a minute, right? Um... But let's add this to the list here. It's a little bit easier to track what I'm making. So paper rings, is that what we need more of? Those aren't bad to make. 
We just need a knife. I'm just gonna get a stack of them because I know we're gonna want them. And paper is not a problem for us anymore, right? Uh, so with that said, we really just need a screwdriver and a wrench. Cool. So again, wrought iron, screwdriver, and a wrench. There's one electric pump. Now we just need the bronze into plates, which I'm gonna speed. I'm gonna do the fast way, right? So three, four, five, and six. We'll collect the rest of those in a minute. I should probably, like, make this Emmy crafting term. We'll have another one on the other side. That would be cool if I was, like, being super cool about stuff. Uh, so you need to be here. Wow, that's a lot of recipes that use that, don't they? Bronze pipe is hammer and file. Right. File, hammer. Cool. And then that should be cool for that, which is screwdriver and wrench. See, I need to get to the point where I can automate some of this. That's the problem. That's why I'm working hard to get towards uh, what we need, right? So there's your basic fluid heater, which is low voltage, right? So we're going to want to put that here. Hey, right next to the infinite water source? Oh, that's a good idea, right? And check this out. What I could do is take the input fluid hatch and put it right here, right? This happened to work out really well by mistake. It's still valid, right? So you should already be running? Yeah, you are. Right, so water in the heater, what was it? It was circuit number one? Cool, so then you should be turning into steam, not you. You should be turning into steam now. I think he's working. He just needs power. Because of course he does. Why wouldn't he need power? Actually, you probably don't need to be there. Cool, steam. Would you look at that? We got steam. Uh, that means conduits. Let's get... Pressurized fluid conduits? I don't think we need the ender ones for this, right? Pressurized fluid conduits is a quest complete. That was complete a while ago, but okay. South, extract, always active. East, insert. So that should be filling this dude up with steam, right? Cool. Which means that you can now run progress. Running perfectly. That's what's up. That's what's up, right? So we just throw coal in there. And we're producing, there's an output somewhere. I think it's in the back, isn't it? Uh, output hatch. That's the fluid output hatch. We need this phenol. That's specifically what we're making this for. But we're also getting cold coke. Nice. Nice. Uh, yes. So we get 16 coal becomes 20 cold coke and a bucket of phenol. Sweet. So let's get ourselves a tank. And this is your fluid output hatch. So we're going to do the same. And there's your phenol. How cool is that? Nice. I don't know why pigs are dying randomly near me, but it happens every now and then. And I'm not sure what the deal is. So it's actually a healthy amount of coal that turns into phenol. Like, you need 16 coal per phenol. Do we have any coal ore? Because I feel like I should go looking for coal ore. And that might be harder than you think. So you know what I could do? Um, let's get some coins. Coal ore... Because there's this coal ore, so five coins. And I'm going to add coal to my scanners thing. So when I go mining next, I can go look for some coal ore that we can smelt. Right? Now, just to be clear, this can be smelted into a single piece or pulverized into crushed coal ore, which probably has a whole mess of trouble 
Typically it needs to be washed or pulverized again. You get impure coal, uh, which can be centrifuged into thorium dust. That's cool and coal. So lots, lots, lots of things to do. But the TLDR is that we can do that. If we want to make a few more pieces of coal right now, that would be fine. But that's neat, right? So now that we've got that going, we should be able to make, I presume, phenol, phenolic circuit boards. Right, and that's a chemical reactor of phenol and the coated circuit board that we've made before. And it's 100 millibuckets, right? So if I got a bucket and the circuit board that we made before, like 10 of them, and popped that dude into the chemical reactor, which I'm hoping I can like do this. Haha, -ha! sweet. And that will process and get me a quest complete. Nice. Okay, cool. I like that. Okay, cool. Right? And capacitors. These guys. Uh, they can still be made like this, but I'd love to be able to make polythylene sheets if possible. So is that something that's like relatively doable? Chemical reactor of ethylene and air. I don't think we're quite there yet, at least quest-wise, right? Ethylene chemical reactor can make it between sulfuric acid and ethanol. Wow, there is a lot of possibilities. <laughs> I'm hoping the quests help. Quests, please. <laughs> I might just need to make it, you know, the old-fashioned way. But we've got these guys now. So capacitors, I already have them looked up actually. So how close are we to making these? Uh, we just need some fine silver wire. I'm just gonna make one for now. Please don't yell at me for making only one. One ingot's worth at least. You already went in there, didn't you? Cool. And then we need tin alloy foils, which is a tin alloy plate. You know, let me just make all these in that new machine over here, this guy, right? The cluster mill. So it's not the cheaper recipe, but we're making progress towards polythylene, which means that we're making progress towards patterns, which means my life is hopefully gonna get a little bit better. Now, weren't you tin alloy foils? Tin foils, ha 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 ha, tin alloys. <laughs> Ah, fluid solidifier, alloy smeltery, tin dust, and iron ingot. Today I learned. Fooling me. Fooling me. Tin. Hopefully it doesn't have to be dust. Yay, it doesn't. And then you get hammered into plates. I'm liking the uh, pyroclase oven thing. It runs pretty quick, too, for the amount of cold coke you get. And that's kind of cool. C can you even imagine how awesome it's going to be when we get automation going into this thing? Like, the amount of automation possibilities that we're going to need to support. It's going to be... It's going to put Dyer through his paces, let's put it that way. Like, I got... I got work to do. Ding. Thanks. All right. I think we've definitely hit wrapping up point here, right? So let's do that. The second tier of tier one circuits is coming up, right? And then we can get into transistors. There's other things we're going to want to do, uh, clearly, but we're making progress. Uh, I'm, I'll figure out when we get to polythylene and all that stuff, but ideally we're going to get to patterns at some point. Um, hopefully thanks to the quest book, right? So for now, Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, continue the work to make all kinds of cool stuff cool. All right, guys. You know what I say. Take it easy.